Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, have you ever wondered how you can make more than just 1% or 3% a year on dividend income? If you have, I have an answer for you. Today, we're going to be talking about a specific ETF. And before I tell you which one it is, I do have to clarify that I did just open a position in it. However, that does not mean go and buy it. Please do your own due diligence, understand why you would want to invest in it, or if you even want to invest in the ETF at all. And just to give you an idea of how crazy this ETF is, if we take a look at the S&P 500 dividend yield for the whole year, the average which is 1.74 now this etf that i'm about to show you has a 12 percent dividend yield year over year that means it's about one percent per month compared to the s p 500 which is 1.74 on the whole calendar year the etf we're going to be talking about is the qyod which is the nasdaq 100 cover called etf basically this etf tracks the nasdaq index it has 100 stocks and sells call options on those stocks to collect the premiums if we take a look at the website they have three reasons to consider qyod one of them is the high income potential qyod seeks to generate income through cover call writing which is historically producing higher yields in periods of volatility now guys key word here is volatility yes this etf is very volatile price moves up and down all the time at very fast pace so please again make sure you do your own due diligence if you if you do decide to invest in this etf following that they have monster distribution they have been making monthly distribution for the last nine years and running and efficient option execution qyld writes call options on the nasdaq 100 index saving investors the time and potential expense of doing so individually one of the main reasons i decided to invest was because i didn't have to do the call options myself i have tried doing it in the past i'm not very good at it and that's something that i accept and i understand and it's fine can i get better yes i'm not going to put in the time if i have an etf like this that can do it for me and provide potential returns if we take a look at qyld's current price it's like 16 dollars 95 which is 32.25 percent all time basically it's almost at all time lows it's only a dollar above it so if there is ever the time that you wanted to invest in this i think it would be now but again guys i am not a financial advisor make sure you do your own due diligence the reason why i decided to invest in it was not only because of the cover cost but as well as if you look at the price now it has room to go all the way up you have value i guess you could say you have a margin of safety you're also getting a 12 percent on the year for the dividend return which is about one percent a month and that is freaking insane currently qyod has about 6.78 billion dollars in net assets and the total expense ratio is only 0.60 percent now if we take a look at the top holdings currently in this etf there is apple there's microsoft there's amazon there's nvidia alphabet or google tesla meta platforms broadcom and pepsi if we take a look at the total annual return for the etf we can see that the worst year was 2022 in 2014 it did about 3.93 percent 2015 it did seven percent 2016 it did four percent 2017 it did 19.30 percent 2018 it was down three percent 2019 it was up 22.99 percent 2020 was eight percent 2021 was ten percent and 2022 was down 19 percent as i just explained before you have a lot of room before the etf reaches i guess it's all-time high so you have margin of safety guys if you're wrong on this etf let's say you lose 10 percent, but if you're right you can make upwards of 20 and 30 percent and not only that you're getting paid consistently monthly dividends every single month and it's about one percent so 12 percent overall on the year if we compare qld to the s p 500 and other etfs we can see it's not the best performing etf however guys it is giving you that consistent one percent monthly dividends every single month and it's also giving you a premium on the etf compared specifically to the s p 500 we can see that year to date qyod has given you a return of 7.61 percent and the s p 500 has given you a return of 7.86 but you have to factor in the fact that throughout the year you got 12 percent back in dividends and the s p 500 you only got 1.74 percent one last thing i want you to keep in mind with this etf is that the call options expire on the exact date guys so if you were to do a call option right now you yourself in your account you have let's say a whole month and then let's say your strike price is $50 and the stock is currently at 30 and your end date is December 30th let's say if it reaches that the strike price in December 28th 29th or 30th you have to lose or buy the, the shares not in this ETF the strike price has to hit on the exact date so if the cover call is for December 30th at $50 and the stock is not at that price on December 30th we get back our premium plus the returns and that's how QYLD that's how QYLD distributes the income throughout its investor that's it for the video guys thank you so much for watching the growth on the channel has been insane lately we've been getting a lot of views uh we gotta keep up the likes though we gotta push the algorithm make sure we show these videos to as much people as possible so the channel can continue growing but nonetheless thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one